Eamon Holmes made a key judgment on Donald Trump as election coverage took over this morning's GB News show. Eamon Holmes addressed Donald Trump's projected U.S. election victory, making the claim that he wouldn't exist as a politician if he was in the U.K. The GB News host made a reference to him, disrespecting women, following his conviction over alleged hush money payments made to pornographic actress Stormy Daniels to conceal a sexual encounter between them. If that was a British politician, he would not exist, he wouldn't be there, Eamon exclaimed. He made his comments as a victory speech was aired by Trump where he declared himself the winner of the election race. The votes haven't all been called yet, with the winner needing to reach 270, but his lead over Kamala Harris looks significant. Eamon remained quiet throughout the screening of the 40-minute speech, speaking only afterwards of Trump's passionate and emotional broadcast. Trump had claimed, I will not rest until I have delivered the prosperous America that you deserve and that your children deserve. Adding, this is the golden age of America. Eamon was keen to know why he didn't mention opponent Kamala Harris once during his speech, while he turned his attention to the Democrat candidate and quizzed, why isn't she speaking? Meanwhile, Eamon's co-star Isabel Webster called out a massive failure on President Biden's part, claiming he failed to sell a promise to the Americans that they wanted. She also read out a note from Keir Starmer which saw him congratulate Trump on his win and describe the US and the UK as the closest of allies. Nigel Farage then appeared on the show via video link to celebrate the news, declaring he was ecstatic as Isabel spoke of the strong personal friendship between the two men. Whether you like him or not, he is an incredible human being, Reform UK leader Farage declared. I said loudly and clear that Trump will win. I just think that the silent majority in America have just had enough of big parties that tax them too much. And the crucial thing is the borders, he exclaimed. He also addressed the 10 million illegal immigrants that had reportedly stormed the USA. People are seeing in their cities increases in gang crime and violence and they want somebody to provide a solution, he declared. What the Labour government need to do is roll out the red carpet and be welcoming. There is a fantastic opportunity ahead of us, and, if I can broker a little bit of peace between Trump and Starmer, I'd be very happy to help, he concluded.